There's a saying, a Japanese saying, that you have to leap before the net will appear. And I think that's really how the book started. I made the decision to leap and see if the net would appear. And it's really scary on the way down because there may be no net and you may crash and burn. But each of us owes ourselves that opportunity to see if the net will appear. And I guess the thing I would want every person to have the experience is if you hit the ground, it may hurt, but it won't be fatal. You just got to do it. You've got to give yourself that chance. And even if you had no confidence, which I had none, I had no confidence I could get this book out. Now, as you point out, it's translated in 30 countries. It's been a bestseller for two and a half years. Uh, they just released the paperback. It's in all airport bookstores, all national retailers. I now as, as have a syndicated radio program that plays in every state in the country. I mean, I, those things weren't on my radar. That was the net. Some of it does have to do with age. I think the part for me that has to do with age is that no matter what has been thrown at me, good, bad, somehow I survived it. That's the empirical data I now have that I didn't have before. Before when I was in my 20s, it seemed like bad things could happen and I might not, I mean, what would happen? I, I might not get through them. And I didn't really quite understand what not getting through them meant. It didn't mean I would die, but somehow a bad thing would happen and I wouldn't be able to manage it. I didn't know if I could have a career or a family or own a home or, or, or even uh, balance my checkbook. I mean, these were all new things and so many new things are coming at you when you're younger. And then you get to be this age and you say, hey, a lot of unexpected things, a lot of fireballs were thrown at my head and somehow I put up my hand caught it with a mitt and put it out. And, and so there's a, 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 a confidence that you develop and you suddenly realize that, yeah, people could throw fireballs at your head, but you're gonna catch them and you're gonna put them out because that's what you've done for decades. Earlier in my career, I had goals and objectives and I was very harsh with myself. I either made them or I didn't. And I beat myself with an emotional stick. And I, I just put the stick away. I hate how I look. I hate every wrinkle. I, I, I hate the fact that my, my eyes have crow's feet and my hair never looks perfect and I never have the right outfit on. And Lord help me if somebody puts a scarf on me because it starts moving around and eventually it's up near my ear and I look terrible. Um, yes, we're getting old. I, I but here's an interesting thing. I felt that way about myself when I was in my 20s. And now I look back at pictures of when I was in my 20s. I was gorgeous. But I thought I was chubby and I didn't like my nose and my haircut was always wrong. I look back at pictures when I was in my 30s. And, and in my 30s, I didn't feel good about myself. And now I'd give anything to have that skin and that hair and, and that figure. So I have to figure that when I'm 99, I'm going to look back at myself at 57 and I'm going to go, boy, she was a fox. Well, I'm a sociobiologist, so what does that mean? That means that whenever I see a certain type of behavior, I go back to our ancient ancestors and try to understand how that behavior might have evolved and why it may be a plus toward survival or a negative toward survival. So when I look at females, specifically in nature, and I see what happens to older females, well, as they leave their age in which they're childbearing, uh, you see they sort of get marginalized. And, and in a very, very short amount of time now, women are living longer, and they have not given up their participation in the main activities of society. In fact, uh, we see that older women are, in fact, participating even more. We have people like Hillary Clinton, you know, um, and uh, Condoleezza Rice, and older females taking extremely powerful positions. And from an evolutionary standpoint, that's happened in a very, very short amount of time.